hello viewers here is another stylish sleeve so you watch as we go I have almost 16 inches here for the length for the width 9 inches it depends on the 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 size of the sleeve now the size of this sleeve the real the real size for the length of the sleeve is seven inches but i had extra two that's why i have nine inches here so let's watch i'm going to fold my place it on this shoulder why this thing is two is because it's going to be an overlap and sleeve so that's why it's two so i folded it into two equal parts this way i'm going to use my pin to hold it now I haven't held it i'm going to measure from this point to this point it gives me nine but i'm going to mark 6.5 or six six is okay here six inches as well now it depends on the size of this one is almost an adult size it can equally also it can be made for an adult as well so that's why I have the length selected that line here with this. I'm going to connect here. You see, I did not exactly place it on this point. I moved down a bit. But on this point, I'm going to connect. The diagonal. I'm going to measure. This gives me 10 inches. I'm going to mark 6.5. Now, from this edge to this place, 6.5. I'm going to divide that place by 2, which gives me 3.3 or so. Now, from here, the distance here, I'm going to mark just five zero point five inches so I'm going to call it out the distance from here to here is just like zero point two inches so I have something like that then for the mouth sleeve the mouth sleeve Yes. 5.5 plus extra one for the seam allowance which gives me 6.5 I'm going to connect so I have something like this so I'm going to I'm going to cut it out I'm going to achieve now this is the shape now one of these is going to be longer than the other the, the first layer here I'm going to reduce the length by 0 0.5 inches. I've 
reduce the length of the upper one, the, the layer, the first layer, by 0 0.5 Hg. Now, this is what I'm going to do to this first layer. I'm going to measure. Here. Now, the full length here is in 8.2 inches. I'm going to divide it by 2, which gives me somewhere here 4 points. Now, I'm going to measure from here 0 0.6 is okay. Here to this place. I'm going to connect from here to to somewhere here but i'm going to measure two inches from here to here i'm going to measure two inches or 1.8 so i'm going to connect i'm going to measure one point here just to curve it just to curve it, if I like, I measure. So, just watch as I cut it out. At the end of the day, this is for the upper layer that we overlap the second. So, this second one, I'm not going to do anything to this second one. So this is how the shape is going to be finally. I'm going to overlap it this way. And now we have this shape like this. Now the next thing for me is to bring out my fabric. I'm going to use this shape to cut my fabric out. going to place it like this why I'm making it too is because I'm going to turn it that's the reason why I'm making it I'm cutting out two pieces from the fabric using this shape or pattern so I have it like this and I'm going to cut So watch as I cut. So at this at this point, I don't need to. I will not do anything to this place. By the time I seal, that will be uh, taken care of. So I'm going to cut. I've cut this out. The same thing is applicable to this. I'm going to cut this one out too. It's exactly what I did on the first one. Now, go back to the closer. Now, I've cut it out using the shape and uh, the pattern. So the next thing is to, is to seal. So let's go seal the the sleeve. Huh? I'm going to start the seal. Let me first use something to hold it. My pin to hold one part. I'm going to start the seal from this base. Following this pattern, 
that's what I'm going to do now. So let's go. I've sealed the, the shape round. Now I'm going to trim it. Trim it. I'm going to notch. I'm going to turn it out. So this is exactly what I'm going to do to the second um, layer too. To the second one. So I will now turn it. Seal this part before I do the turning. Ironing has been done. As you can see, this is how this one looks like. Okay. This one also. This one is the lining. Why this is the the real fabric. So the same thing is applicable to this one. This one is the real fabric. Why this one is the lining? So I'm going to overlap it this way. Now I'm going to seal this edge like this. I've sealed it round. What I'm going to do is to fold it into two equal parts. Give me the equal. I'm going to notch this point here to give me the center point. Now I'm going to notch. somewhere here see this place i'm going to notch is going to be the curve this extra one plus the little um, line I'm, i will have here makes my the line or the size of my armhole I'm going to pleat. So I'm doing the pleating now. This is how it's going to be. I will now measure to give me equal length so it gives me equal length so now if i have my button or whatever better bow i can just attach it here so that's the end of this video thanks for watching you can share you can subscribe you can like so for more updates subscribe to my channel